Hey, what's going on? This is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment, and today I'm gonna talk to you about the things that you consider before having your wedding live streamed. So today I'm gonna cover uh, live streaming a wedding and why you might consider having your wedding live stream. I'm also gonna cover all the things that you might consider before having it, all the challenges that you might need to overcome to have a successful live stream. So one of the first reasons why you might consider having your wedding live stream is to save money on the number of guests. We all know that weddings can be pretty big. I've seen weddings up to 500 people. You might have those guests where you still want to have them feel included, be able to see your ceremony, but might not want them to be there in person, or it might be hard for them to get to your wedding because either traveling out of the country, out of state, and it's a big burden and big cost for them to come to your wedding, but they still wanna experience it as it's happening. And so this is why live streaming might be an option for you guys. Second thing that you guys need to consider is your platform of choice. Do you want it to be streamed to Facebook? YouTube or even have it as a Zoom meeting so everybody can see each other as the event's going on. So these all create different challenges uh, in their own. For me personally, I'm not a big fan of Facebook because if you play a copyrighted song, they can pull down your stream. Um, with YouTube, you can play copyrighted music. It just might be muted on the playback. Uh, but once the ceremony is done, uh, your video will be up on YouTube and anybody that missed the ceremony can watch it at a later time. Now, when it comes to Zoom, we're not uh, creating a copy of it unless somebody is recording the Zoom screen themselves, but this is just a way so everybody can see the wedding and people can interact and see everybody else who is on the Zoom meeting and they can all interact with each other and they can also chat back and forth. One of the benefits of having your wedding live streamed, if anybody has missed it, can't make it in time, um, once the ceremony is done, once the live stream has ended, YouTube will process that video and create an own video. Uh, this video can remain private, but then you can either send it out to all the other guests or you can watch it yourself later on. So that's one of the benefits of having a wedding live stream. Now, the video quality is not as good as if you were having a videography come and uh, film it. There's a different process, different cameras that are involved but this is one way to get a copy of your wedding. Um, so that way you can watch the ceremony later on. Now, when it comes to live streaming, one of the biggest challenges is how are we gonna handle internet? With my company, we'll come out to the wedding venue to see if they have reliable internet. If they don't have a reliable internet source, we have a thing called a Live View Solo that uses a data plan to stream to the internet. And this is a really good solution. We've been in some pretty remote areas where they didn't have internet. We're able to use our data plan to get a high quality live stream. For whatever reason, if the internet does cut out during the live stream, once we get home, we will re-upload the live stream that we have recorded to a hard drive. We can also give you a copy of the live stream at your request after the ceremony is over, or we can email you a link where you can download the live stream that we have recorded to our hard drive. Now, one of the biggest things with live streaming is having clear, clean audio. Uh, with my company, most of the times we're there to do the DJ portion. So we already have the necessary microphones to make sure that everybody at home can hear correctly along with the people attending the ceremony. So that's one thing you gotta consider is the microphones for the people that are gonna be at your ceremony uh, through a PA setup or the microphones that are needed to uh, have good quality levels for the people at home. Really loud for the people that are there and super quiet for the people at home. With our company, we've worked out all the bugs and kinks to make sure that this is a seamless production. So it's pleasant for the people at home and also the people are at your wedding. From this coastal paradise, surrounded by the beauty of creation and nourished by the sights and sounds of nature, now, depending on the location, we'll come take a look at it. If this is an indoor venue, we will also bring in some video lights. And so that's one of the things to consider about, you know, your location, what type of lighting, is it gonna be harsh and sunny, and having cameras that can pick up a good video quality 
in these conditions. With our company, we have camcorders that we use for our basic live stream, but you also have the ability to upgrade to cinema cameras if you want a little bit higher quality. This is more of a cinematic look. So these are all options. These are all things that we cover in our consultation meeting before getting to your event to perform a live stream. So the main things are the quality of internet. How are we gonna get internet for your live stream? What are we gonna use for PA setup as speakers or microphones so everybody can hear? And the quality of cameras that you would like to have for your final product. If you guys have any more questions, don't hesitate to reach out. My name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment. Thank you guys.